So I'm out here in what we call the pond field and this is where we're putting in one of the pivots that we've been hauling over. I brought the backhoe out here and I've already started on digging this trench uh, for the main line and power to go in. I've dug probably a quarter of what we need to get done. And it's going to go all the way up to the top of the hill up there. I got a stake where the center point of the pivot sits. But I need to finish digging this trench so that we got mainline and power to the pivot. Not even 10 minutes into digging and I'm already broke down. So this lever here shouldn't be able to do that if it's working properly like these other ones are fine. But what broke is this piece of metal right here that attaches here. Somehow it just completely broke off. I'm going to have to take it to the shop, weld it back on there, and then it should be good. Luckily, it's a pretty simple, easy fix, but, you know, <clears throat> just time, that's it. So what I'm going to do, actually, just to reinforce this piece of metal so it hopefully doesn't break again, so I've cut out a piece of 5 16 cold roll, bent it at a 90, cut it off. I'm going to put it right here. I don't know if you could see that or not, but put it right here and then weld it so there's a lot of contact area with new welds. It's good. So today, it looks like it's actually going to be a pretty nice day, clear skies, and in the 50s. So I know I said in the previous video that we were going to go back to working on the cleaner. But since it's going to be such a nice day today, we're going to actually build the forms for each of the four different pivot sites. I know Dad already got all the materials for building the forms, and I think he got them all laid out at the areas. 
So let's head out and we'll just start putting all these forms together. One down, three to go. Done. That one's done. And there we go. The last one. Right as the sun is going down. <laughs>